Hello, hello, and welcome. Today we will be making a motif that can be found in the Ben Yusuf Madrasa, which is in Marrakesh, Morocco. Uh, for those that don't know, a madrasa is just a school, and the Ben Yusuf Madrasa specifically is a very popular tourist destination in Marrakesh. So we'll be making this by using the program GeoGebra, a free tool. Another thing to respect is that the craftsman who made this would have only had a straight edge in a compass-like uh, object. And I'm just hoping that by doing this design, you gain a respect and appreciation for what those original craftsmen had to do by hand. Okay, so we're going to go to start graphing. Okay, and this is just going to be the first part to lay the foundation down uh, for the object. And there will be a second part that follows, which will do the more complicated portion of this construction. Okay, just go to tools and we're going to scroll down and click on this line. Let's go from maybe negative 4 to 4. Okay, it doesn't have to be anywhere on the x-axis is fine. Okay, and I'm just using the x-axis as a guide to make a straight horizontal line. You can go to this button and we can turn off the axes and the grid lines. So no grid. Okay, so now we have a clean canvas to work with. Okay, next we'll select this circle tool and we'll make a circle approximately this big. You don't have to be exact and it's something approximately like this is fine. Okay, and now we'll make another circle by clicking on this intersection point, and we want it to be bigger than the previous circle where this it goes past this halfway point above the circle. So I'm just going to go over here. Okay, I put the point here intentionally so it doesn't interfere with what we're about to do, but wherever you put the point is fine. Okay, so now I want to make a circle that's exactly that same size and centered at this point. So I'm going to use this tool, okay, and I'm going to select the center point all the way to this intersection. So now that made an exact same circle and we want it to be centered right here. Okay, there we go. Now we will use this line tool and you can see from connect from here to here. Okay, so hopefully what you realize is that we just made a completely perpendicular line to our original line. Okay. Now I'm just going to hide some of these objects as we don't need them all. So I'm going to hide this big circle. Uh, these points as well will be unnecessary. Okay, and that's good for now. Okay, so we will also make four circles centered at the intersection of this circle in the vertical and horizontal line. So we'll click here. Okay, and just another circle centered from this one to here, center here, radius there, and just like that. Okay, so now we are going to make a line that connects from this point to this point. Now you want to make sure that the points being created are gray, uh, not blue. If it's blue, it means it's not going through the intersection. For example, if I go close to it, but I select here, well, well, that took me right to the right point. Let's make a mistake, though. Let's see if I go I don't know, over here. It's blue, and that means it's not connected. So you want to go back and try that again. Okay, so through here and here. Okay, that's good. Now, we are going to make connect these four points with a line segment. So we have like a square. Okay, so now we've constructed a perfect square okay and now we will zoom in a little bit so you can see this a little bit better I'm going to make some points you don't actually have to put these points down but I'll make it so that it's easier to follow we want to find this intersection point and the one over here okay and connect that with a line say from here to here now we'll do the same thing but on the other side so I'm just gonna go from here to here okay now we're gonna do the same thing the other way I'll show points the first time so from this point to this one okay and let's get the line tool and from here to here okay now I'm gonna zoom all the way out and you can see it looks symmetrical there's no missing line so that should look something like that but I'll zoom back in okay so we've actually done all the construction lines for now so I want to select everything change its color so I'm going to go to this tool I'm going to select from say 
here, hold down to the shift key and select the top one. Now I'll select any one of these, go to settings, color, and let's say change it to pink. I pick pink because it's a little light and easy to go over. So now what I will be doing is just using this line segment tool to go over the parts that we need for the final image because we don't need all of this construction lines. Okay, I'll zoom back in. What we want to keep is the square. So I'm just going over this. Okay, we also want this vertical line in the middle and the horizontal line. Okay, we want to go from this point down to here. So those are the lines we just recently made, but now we only want a line segment portion of it. Okay, so from here to here, from here to here, and just like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to zoom out a little, and I just want to hide all these other pink lines at this point. So I'm going to hold down the control key and select these. Okay, this is one way of doing it. I could have done it actually an easier way, but I'll just do this for now. Okay, settings, um, show object. Okay, or I could have just more easily have used this tool over here. Okay, and I could hide these circles now. Okay, um, now there's so many points here. I'm actually going to handpick the points because it's hard to uh, sometimes see. Actually, let's see. I'll click on this. Does it work? Okay, this is working nicely, so I'll still use this tool. Okay, so just one by one. I'll get rid of these points as well. And we're almost done here. Okay, and now I'm just going to click outside and we have this and there's a couple points here missing so let me finish that up. Okay, and there we go. So there's our basic uh, construction there. I find this very interesting here that this went past it. So if I want to get rid of that, I can perhaps just delete this and, or not delete. We don't want to delete just yet. Let's try this. Let's make a line over from here. Okay, let's zoom out to here. Okay. And hmm, let's try this again. Okay. So I'm going to delete that. I'm not happy with this. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Um, okay, it seems to have it seems to work out fine right now, so I think that's that's good. So we'll just hide that point and we should be complete. Okay, so there we go. Okay. So that's just the foundation uh, which will be needed to carry on with the next part. Thank you.